The definition for me of the American dream has been something that I think our country has had for a long time is remaining the same, that we want the next generation to be better than, off than we were. Traditionally, the American dream, I think to most people, has meant the freedom to be able to, to move up no matter who you are, um, to have a good job, to make money, to do well for yourself and your family. All of my dreams require a bunch of education, also require the help of other people. So uh, what I'm trying to do right now is get myself into a position where I have those other people the, the people I need to help me achieve my dream. I mean, every mom I've met anywhere on the planet, we all have the same dreams. We want our kids to be healthy. We want them to be happy. We want to give them what they need, give them a good start in life. I can't say every everything about being a college student for or, or we're working, just like working two jobs, that kind of thing. I don't think that everything about it is glamorous and never there I know I've gone through classes that don't really care for the most or just or work jobs that I don't particularly want to work but I feel like it all leads to a better future that's what it's that's what it's kind of going to I think struggle is inevitable I don't you know whether it's important or not it's just inevitable we live in a world where there's a lot that isn't good and where there's a lot that's uneven and where life can be really, really hard. Even for those of us who have it good, life can be really, really hard. We all face some kind of adversity. Um, we all fail at things while we're trying to succeed. Um, and that's actually something that I try and talk with my students about, um, about my failures. Successes I have definitely had. I've had a lot more failures for sure. And I'm five feet, six inches tall, and so I look at that and say, well, even when I fall flat on my face, I'm still five feet, six inches closer. <laughs> when, when everything's good, you don't really ask questions. So when everything starts turning, things are, and they're worse, you actually, that's when it requires the most out of you. That's when you either make a change so that you don't, because you don't want to feel that bad anymore. So you want to, you make a change for the better, or you, you just learn how to deal with what you're going through. I wanted to make a living in a way that I felt good about, and I feel like I have accomplished that. Uh, I wanted to make a living in a way that would allow me to, um, to read and think and write and, uh, and talk to people about the things that I was reading and thinking and writing about. Um, so yes, I have accomplished that, um, but, uh, but I've got goals that I've, I haven't hit yet, so I'm still working on things too. I love what I do because I like talking to students. They're young, they're um, enthusiastic, they have dreams, uh, and I like helping people. So they're at a point where a little helping hand can help, can have big results and big fruit, just to encourage them to try to remove obstacles. Yeah, I've got a great job. I am honored and very grateful to represent the community uh, for the Board of Trustees uh, and also to advocate for this position in our state as well as in our nation. Uh, there are so many pathways that the college opens up for people, for opportunities, and to be able to have that voice for them is very honoring. One of the big things that I set out to do was really just give my, give my all and as, and as a college student is is to really just see myself as being able to do anything that I set my mind to and getting myself in that mindset because that mindset is it's what's going to take me farther so I think that as a whole I think I have gotten myself in that mindset now it's leading on to greater things though.